Hey guys, so someone asked me if I could do a video on the hair products that I use or a post about it. So I thought I'd do a little video montage of that. Um, just everything that I use from styling products to shampoo and conditioner, etc. First, a little story. So I had a gift certificate and that I got for Christmas to go get my hair done at this spa that I don't normally go to. So. It was for a mani-pedi, a massage, and hair styling. So I was saving the styling for when, you know, like an evening out or something. So I'm going out to dinner with my girlfriend for my birthday, and I thought, this is a perfect opportunity. I'll go get my hair done. So I go to the salon. It's going to be like a conditioning treatment, a shampoo, blow-dry style, la -di da So I get there, and... They've put me with some random stylist. I've never met her before. And obviously, my roots look like this, which is embarrassing, to say the least, because I've let it go far too long. But that's another story in itself. So I sit down. And the first thing this girl says to me is, oh, your hair is really damaged. What? Like, OK, thanks? Like, who says that? I mean, I know you're a stylist, and I mean, yes, I know my hair is damaged, and it's been a while since I've had a cut too, and hello, like, I, I clearly bleach it, but, like, nice opening line, eh? Anyways, she ended up doing my hair, and she did a good job, and, but it was awkward. It was so awkward. Anyways, one of the things she told me was, do you use drugstore shampoos and conditioners because that really strips the color from your hair and it pulls the protein out of your hair instead of putting protein into your hair because it uses a detergent base and of course guilty I always use drugstore shampoo and conditioners but it really made me think about switching anyways if you guys have any suggestions on shampoos that you really like if you're blonde especially something that locks your color in I have really fine hair but a lot of it any suggestions are totally welcome however I don't love the idea of spending an arm and a leg on shampoo and conditioner anyways so what I'm using right now, what I'm really loving, of course, is drugstore brand. It's this Organics shampoo and conditioner. I like the coconut milk. You can get them in various flavors. And they usually have like little uh, rebate things hanging off of them. Or they will guarantee that if you don't like the product, they'll give you your money back. So it's really great. They have a website. It's organicshair.com, and organics is with an X. Anyways, this stuff smells great. It's super rich coconut. It's delicious. Um, I don't find it waxy or anything. Like, it doesn't, like your hair doesn't get too slippery when you put the conditioner in. Anyways, it's great. Something else that I absolutely swear by is the light blue shade shampoo and conditioner this is amazing if you have blonde hair or white hair even it really removes any brassiness to your hair so this is awesome my stylist suggested this to me I've been using it for years probably five years and this stuff is about seven or eight bucks a bottle totally worth it you only have to use it about once a week or so I find after I've had my hair colored and it's been about two months, I don't tend to use this as religiously as before, but it's awesome. Oh, and the Organics shampoo and conditioner, they're about six bucks each. So as far as after I wash my hair, I always, always use a leave-in conditioner, and I'm loving Garnier Fructis leave-in conditioner. I find leave-in conditioner is really hard to find, especially at a drugstore or Walmart, but this stuff is awesome. I put, you know, a good, good dollop in my hands, do whatever, what is this motion? I don't know. Um, and then run it through, especially focusing on the ends. But I find the crown and stuff, because I tend to tease, it, you know, it gets tangled, so I do use it 
closer to my roots, even though not ideal, right? Because grease, but whatever. Anyways, I can't remember how much this was, about $7 or something. I've had this bottle for probably a year, and it's awesome. Leave-in conditioning cream, sleek and shine. And then I also love to use this. It's another product from the Organics line. It is a split ends mender. I don't really know if it mends my split ends, but I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells super coconutty, just like the shampoo and conditioner. Sometimes I feel a little guilty using this in the winter because I feel like I should only use it in the summer because it's so coconutty. Isn't that funny? Anyways, this stuff's about eight bucks for the bottle. You just need a little dollop. It's a pump and it's awesome. I tend to twist my ends like this and really like smooth it into them. I don't know if it works, but it also works if you don't have a leave-in conditioner. It detangles pretty well too. A little bit heavier formula. Next, when I'm about to blow dry, I recently started using this. It's Smooth and Straight by Mark Anthony. And it's a heat protectant flat iron spray. I don't use my flat iron that often, but I do blow dry frequently. And especially after that, your hair is so damaged comment, I have been using this more. Because the comment has clearly affected me. And I mean, I want healthier hair, like who doesn't? And I'm trying to grow it, so. This stuff is great. I don't find it greasy, sticky, or heavy, so that's good because I don't like putting a lot of product in my hair. It, it, like, because it's so fine, like I said, it really can weigh it down. So the less product, the better. And then one last thing when I'm blow drying, I like to mix this with my leave-in conditioner sometimes, not all the time. It's Mode Miracle Serum, seals, shines, and protects proven salon results. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... And this smells good. It smells like flowers. And you just need a tiny, tiny one pump of this. It's awesome. I got this years ago, so I don't know if you can find it anymore. I think I paid like 10 bucks. But mode. And usually what I'll do is I'll put the leave-in conditioner, and then I'll do one pump of this, mix it together, and then put it through my hair. So once my hair is all blow dried, which I tend to blow dry 90% till it's dry and then I'll use a round brush and I'll go section by section and blow dry the rest. Um, as far as styling goes, I don't really use any styling products except hairspray. Huge fan of the Tresemme, what is on my finger, like when did this happen? Ew. Um, huge fan of the Tresemme Tray 2. It's extra hold and it's the number four. I've tried several hairsprays and I love this one. I don't know, it's probably five bucks. It's got a nice mist. You've probably used it. Lastly, to really boost the shine of my hair, I have this which I don't use very often because I find it can weigh my hair down, but it does kind of lock that shine in or give it a, a shiny look. It's Charles Worthington, London. It's called Results Shine, Shine, Shine Gloss Spray. It's awesome. I got it a couple years ago and I haven't seen it since. So I'm not sure where you can get this. You can probably find it online. But I think I paid around $10 for it. You literally just need one spritz for your entire head. Unless you have thick hair, you could probably more spritzes, but not much. Anyways, I don't use it too often, but it is a product that I really, really like. So lastly, something that I recently discovered thanks to another blog, Verona Britt, she was raving about this new Suave dry shampoo. It's a lemon, lemon scent. Yeah, and it's amazing. So seriously, buy this. <laughs> I think it was $3. I was in Florida a couple weeks ago and 
I was going to Target and before I went to Target I was doing some online blog reading and Veronica had just done a review on this dry shampoo. Now I've used the Tresemme dry, sh uh, dry shampoo and it sucks for me. Again, fine hair, ugh, it just like weighed my hair down. It felt tacky almost. And I just went straight back to using my baby powder. So when Veronica recommended this and I was going to Target that day and as you may or may not know, we don't have Target in Canada, so it was kind of like my one and only chance to get a bottle of this. Um, she had done the review that day and Savior, because she was raving about how amazing this was. She had tried the Tresemme dry shampoo as well and hated it. So I picked this up and loved it. I probably used a quarter of the bottle when I was in Florida because I didn't want to wash my hair and this stuff is so so amazing like I should have bought five bottles because now I'm screwed until I go to the States again anyways this stuff is great it smells great um, you get a little bit of the white um, film or whatever you want to call it but all you need to do when you get that is rub it in like this with your fingers or take a comb and just comb over the roots and that'll kind of disperse the color it's awesome it's not greasy it's a lightweight formula it adds volume it kind of thickens your hair up but it's not heavy it's it's so fantastic anyway so that's the suave dry shampoo and it's new so i think that's everything as far as hair care slash routine goes thanks for watching